Hey guys, and Crazy here again with another video on the 2023 Hyundai Elantra N and the stunning performance blue with the uh, righteous 8-speed dual clutch transmission. Um, yeah, Hyundai. Let's let's talk about that for a second. As a name and as a brand, uh, sometimes Hyundai uh, often gets uh, pronunciated the wrong way. So. Uh, Hyundai themselves did release a statement a while back uh, stating the uh, proper pronunciation of it is Hyundai, it's not Hyundai, it's not Hyundai, so yeah, just wanted to throw that in there guys, I don't know if some people uh, like calling a Ford a Ferd or maybe a Chevrolet, a Chevrolet or a, a Plymouth, a Plymouth, I'm not sure, but uh, whether it's just hate on the Hyundai brand itself or uh, people just don't know how to pronunciate it, so I just thought I'd throw that in there right off the hop and uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, Hyundai really quick as a brand. Um, man, I don't know what to say. Uh, I've been around cars now for about 30 years, and um, from what I've seen them grow in 10 years, nevertheless 30 years, I mean, what we used to drive or seen Hyundai uh, put out back in the day were, you know, they did have the Elantra around back then. Uh, they had one called a Pony and a Stellar, and a lot of people think actually that uh, one of first one of their first uh, performance kind of kicks at the can was like the uh, the Tiburon or maybe you know the Genesis put them on the map, but actually um, I'm not sure of the year exactly, but I would say early '90s, '91 maybe '92, Hyundai released a two door version of uh, something a little more sporty, and they called it a Scoop. So I'm not sure. I mean, in Canada that's what it was anyway. I'm not sure you know if uh, that same. I'm imagining in the U.S. if they had it, it would have been the same as well. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, a lot of people think the Tiburon and the Genesis were kind of what um, what put Hyundai on the map when it came to, uh, you know, kind of taking a kick at the can at the performance end of it. But, uh, actually, the Hyundai Scoop, my uh, my uh, buddy when we were younger, his mom picked one up brand new. And uh, it's a little two-door and uh, five-speed with a twin cam in it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it... Uh, it was what it was for the time and you know it was a neat little car but yeah anyways i just wanted to throw that in there guys and uh you know uh amazing that's that's all i gotta say amazing where they've come amazing you know cars today uh to what i was driving when i was younger and you know they're very simple and basic and carbureted and uh not much uh technology obviously going on at that time don't get me wrong there was some but uh you know that was still early stages of even fuel injection and all that kind of stuff so um in the last video we uh we went over just quickly uh a couple of the modifications that i had thrown on uh, just to go over it quick again we we did throw the uh a pillar vent uh overlays and carbon fiber um like I said, they're in the last video. The link is in the description. If uh, anybody hasn't seen it, they can go back and have a look. We did. Uh, I did end up throwing this uh, piece on here around the uh, the map navigation radio control kind of thing. And uh, I am. I do have. Sorry, on order the piece for here. Going over that kind of quick again. Sorry, carbon fiber piece that's going to be going over here, uh, as well as here, and uh, you know the cup holders too. Like I said, I like I like the look, but. Uh, the piano black look like that can be uh, hard to keep clean so i'm gonna throw the carbon fiber on it to kind of go with everything else we've done so far and yeah go from there and see see what that's uh, gonna look like and i do have uh some other parts on order as well besides those that are going to be coming in here fairly shortly as well but going back to i'm just going to shut my door here the garage door sorry it's uh, not the nicest here right now. It uh, wasn't plus temperatures, but uh, overnight it kind of dropped and we got some snow. And Sorry, the old garage door there is loud. But in the last video, guys, I did show you that I had a uh, tow hook for the front bumper that I did uh, pick up off of um, Amazon. So I will link that down in the description of this video if anybody's interested in it. It did take me a little bit to find it, um, you know, something specific for the 22, 23, because, I mean, they are a new car still, so hard to find parts for them still specifically. But uh, 
the reviews, a couple of guys said they had a 22 of laundry. It didn't fit. Another guy said they had pictures of it in their bumper. So I went ahead and ordered it. And uh, I did test fit it, guys, already just to see. And it, it does fit. Uh, no problem. So anyways, I think what we're going to do in this video is just kind of, if you guys are interested, and uh, we're going to walk you through kind of the installation of this thing. And it's not going to be much to it. But uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to get you guys uh, set up over here. Turn on some lights so we can see what we're doing. Let me get you guys kind of set up down here. All right, hopefully that's a good view there for you guys. So, <clears throat> starting out, you gotta take the plug out of the uh, passenger side front grill so a little round circle here that's how you expose the uh, the hole and the threads to to get in there and attach the post for the uh, tow hook so a lot of guys might be looking at that going geez well how do you get that out I don't want to stick a screwdriver in there or something and try to pry it and you know mark a mark up the grill or something like that so easy enough guys you just reach in through the bottom here to right here and you just get on the back side of it and give it a push super easy comes out like nothing so once you get that done, you just pop it the rest of the way out here. And then what you got is you got this little piece that's kind of holding it in. So you can wiggle that out of its spot. So it's like a little fork there that kind of holds it in. So you just wiggle that out and then it's out of your way. Done deal. Step one done. Super easy, guys. So let me grab the, uh, the rest of the, uh, grab the bumper piece here. Okay, so you got obviously the the hook part of it where you would hook onto with a tow rope or something if you need to. And then you got the post. So the post is what goes into here and threads into the threads that are you know about finger deep or so down into there. So what they do is they, they give you this uh, nut on there so when you basically what will happen is once you tighten this to the end and then you tight or then you thread this on this might not end up in the position you want it to so you can just back it up a bit to where you want it and then you put this nut against it and tighten it and it holds it in place now for me i don't want to use the nut for two reasons uh first off is it's silver and i don't like the silver i'd have to paint it or something um as well as for me it also sticks sticks out too far I don't like it out that far um, the reason I went with the black was because um, I don't want it to be on display too much I kind of want it to be more subtle and uh, flush so uh, also guys I, I am not going to be hooking up to this and pulling from it this is solely for aesthetic look so for me things don't need to be over tight and, and uh, crazily over engineered so uh, one thing I am going to do is we're just going to put a little uh, anti-corrosion on here that way you know if it does go through the elements and stuff and you don't take it out over time you know you don't have a problem with it getting stuck in there so we'll go ahead and put a little bit of that on there first and uh, and we'll get started here Just go down in there. Find the threads. Just make sure you're all lined up and then you can start giving her a tighten. So there it is bottomed out. It's uh, fairly tight there right now, but I'm just going to uh, <coughs> I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit, like I said. I'm not going to go over crazy with it. So, for like I said, for me, I'm not uh, not going to be pulling from this or doing anything crazy like that, guys. So, you know, I'm just going to give it a good hand tighten. And uh, I don't have any worries about that coming loose like that. So, now, like I said, if you take that nut off and you go on to here and you thread it on without the nut, 
what you're going to end up with probably is this thing ain't going to line up where you want it to by the time it bottoms out and there you go so it's sideways i mean i guess guys unless you like that look right there and you want it sideways great if not for me i'm going to have it straight up and down like that that's the look i'm going for so um take this back off back off for now of course that did back out a little bit when I pulled it out so what I am gonna do here is put the nut on and then I'll go ahead and just give that a little tighten just for quick purposes there grab this baby here and just give it a little tighten and then just snap that nut back real quick off and it should stay tight there for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys, is I'm just gonna be using a little bit of red Loctite on here because once it's on, it's on and it, it doesn't matter to me, it's, it's gonna be in place and it ain't gonna go anywhere. And once this stuff dries up, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be no problem. She ain't gonna go anywhere, guaranteed. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and put a little red Loctite on the threads or sorry, blue Loctite on the threads. I don't know why I said red, guys. Sorry about that. Probably because the bottle was red. I was thinking red. And this isn't permanent either, so I don't know if you guys are concerned about that. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to thread this thing back on all the way. And then I'm going to get it right into the place I want it. And once I get it there, I'm just going to uh, let that sit like so and then I got the allen key here because you got your nuts on the side or sorry the bolts on the side here you can just uh, don't hit your car with the allen key set it down like that like so and you can just kind of adjust where you want it to sit and you know just let it sit let the uh, Loctite dry and like I said guys the reason I'm doing this is because I don't like once the nut is on there it, it puts this out too far and for me personally I just I don't like that look and uh, I'm more into the uh, the flush look and kind of uh, you know not not so not so jumping out in your face something something that's just a little more subtle looking for me I think and uh, so yeah like I said, guys, not much to it there. Um, let me know what you think. That's, uh, that's basically that in a nutshell. As you can see, it fits fine. Everything's good there. No problem with the, uh, the fitment or screwing anything in. So let me know what you think. Um, it's not permanent. If a guy doesn't like it down the road, you just pop it out, put your cap back in, and it's like it never happened. So pretty easy. But I uh, figured I'd just do a quick video on it for you guys just to, to give you an idea how it's done or if you, you know, if you are interested or you're just new to modifying cars or working on your car and you want, you know, you want to start with little steps, something like this is good to gain some confidence to, to uh, you know, learn to do bigger, bigger things along the way. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think, guys. Um, it will be... Uh, I'm going to try to post a video at least probably once a week for now. That's kind of what my, my goal is right now. But I have said before with the uh, weather here right now and stuff, it is it's a little tough. It's, uh, you know, I'm uh, outside in the cold doing it, so it's, it's not that fun as, uh, in the summertime. But uh, once summer comes, there's going to be uh, a lot more things to come for the channel, guys. So uh, hopefully you're interested. Hopefully you're liking the content. And if you are, give the... Uh, like button a big smash there and subscribe to the channel if uh, if you already haven't and yeah till then guys take care and uh we'll catch you in the next one